Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create animated text in PowerPoint. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up PowerPoint. Let's go to blank presentation here and then go to file, save as, and let's make sure we save our work. So we'll go to my desktop and on my desktop, I have a folder here for this project. So we're just gonna call this animated text-01. Let's save our work. So when you create a blank presentation, this is normally what you're going to see. So press Control A to select all of the content and hit the delete key. Now we have a true blank presentation. Let's make sure that we go to view and turn on ruler, grid lines and guidelines. I normally leave these on. This just helps me to lay out content a lot better. Okay, the first thing we want to do is change the background slide color. So let's go over to the design element here, design. And inside here, we've got format background. We're going to click here and it's set to solid fill, which is fine. And underneath the color option, I'm going to select this orange color. It's dark orange this sort of dark shade orange. You can select any color you like, maybe for now, select orange, and then you can change the color scheme afterwards. Okay, let's close the format background here, and we'll go to the home, and inside the home, we want to select the rectangle tool, this one here. Let's click on that, and we're gonna hold down the shift key so we can draw a square box. So let's draw a square box like this sort of shape here similar to the size of the blocks or the grid lines behind. Let's click on that box and in the shape fill, we want to set it to a white color, white. And in the shape outline, we want to set it to no outline. Okay, let's position this box a little bit more accurately and we want to just drag it down so that it snaps into the corner here. You can see in this sort of corner here on the grid line. Let's click this box and press Control and D to duplicate it and drag one box above here. Anywhere above will be fine for now. Let's click it again and press Control and D to duplicate it one more time. And this time we'll drag it to the side, but we want to leave a gap here. It will sit on the same level, but leave a gap in between, something like this. Let's click this box and we want to expand it. We want to make it larger. Let's make it roughly around this size, something like this. Okay, we want to add some text inside of this white box. So let's click on the text tool up here. This is the text box tool right here. And underneath, we're going to drag a box which is smaller than the white box above. It needs to be a little bit smaller, something like this. And I'm going to type in, you can type anything you like. I'm going to type in the word create. I'm going to press Control A to select that text. And I want to center it, center align it like this. And in the, in the drop downs here, I'm going to select this particular font, this area on black. So let's select that font. You can choose any font you like. And we use the increase font size tool here. So we're gonna make it quite large, something around 36 size. Now let's go ahead and click on this text, drag it up to the box, and we want to get this nicely centered inside of the box like this. You should see the arrows or the lines appear to show that it's centered correctly. Let's change the font color. So we want the font color to be the same color as the background. So the text box is already selected. Let's go to the font options here, and we wanna select that same font color, this one here. So that now the text and the background are going to be matching font colors. Okay, let's left click outside to deselect everything. Left click with your mouse and hold down the mouse button to select the text box and the text overlay on top. Then press Control and D to duplicate. Let's drag this down and let's try and make sure the gap between them is the same size as the gap here. Then press Control and D to duplicate one more time and drag this one to this side here. You want to get it so that it's all aligned nicely and the gaps in between are consistent. Okay, we need to change the name of the text in here. Right now it says create three times. So let's left click inside here, press Control A, and we're going to type create animated. And you can type any words you like here. And the last one, we're going to type in text. So we've got create animated text like this. Okay, so we want to create some type of layer mask. So what we're going to do is click on this box here. Make sure you click on the box and not the text. Click in the bottom right hand corner, we'll select the box. Press Control D to duplicate it and drag it so that it sits on top of the current box, exactly on top in the same position like this. Let's right click on it and go to shape format. And inside shape format, go to the sizing options. And inside this drop down here size, we want to set it to 
we want to make it larger. So it's going to be taller now. And in the width, we want to set it to 10.5. Now let's click on this box and go to the home options. And in the shape fill here, we're going to click on the drop down and select a blue color. We'll change that color later. But for now, it's visually, it just helps us to position everything. So we're just going to drag this box to around this position, maybe a little bit higher up, let's say around here. So it sits like here. We're just going to use this as a mask. So let's click on this box and press Ctrl and D to duplicate it. And we're going to drag it down so it covers the other box below. And then press Ctrl and D to duplicate again and drag it over here so it covers this box as well. And we're going to use these as little masks to display our boxes afterwards. Okay, this top box up here, we don't need it anymore. So let's select it and hit the delete key to remove it. Let's click on this box here. Hold down the shift key and select the other two blue boxes. Let's right click on them and send them to the back for now. So we're going to animate our text first and then animate these blue boxes afterwards. Okay, go ahead and click on the small box here. Click on animations and inside the drop down here, click here. And we want to click line tool here. So now you see the box start to move in this downwards direction. We need to click on animation pane here and that will show us the animation sequence in here. The duration, we want to set it to 0.25. We want it to be quite fast. We want to set it to with previous, so the animation part will play automatically. This green box here, the top one, let's click on it and start to drag it upwards and then hold down the shift key to lock it. And we want to move it to this position here, just above, like this. Now let's click on the red one. So if you click on it, you'll see it will be grayed out like this or faded out. And we want to drag that one up as well. So click on it carefully, start to drag it up and hold down the shift key to um, move it on a vertical accurately. So we want to drag it to this position. Now when we click play, it will drop down quite fast like this. Okay, next thing we want to do is animate our text quickly. So let's go ahead and click on this text uh, create here and click on the wipe tool, wipe. So make sure you're in animations and select wipe. So it's going to wipe upwards. We don't want that. We want it to wipe uh, to the left. So let's click on this option here, effects options, and select from left. So that's going to wipe to the left. And we want to set it to after previous. So after this box animates, this one will animate afterwards. And we set the value to 0.25. Let's do the same for animated text here. So we'll click on this one, select wipe. But this time we want to wipe it from right to left. So let's click here and do from right. And then in here, we'll select after previous and set it to 0.25. And then click on the word text here or whatever you've written. Let's click wipe. And we want to select that one to wipe from right. And we want to click on here and select after previous and set that to 0.25. Okay, let's go ahead and click on all of these three blue boxes. So let's select them from the top corner. Let's left click on this one first, hold down the shift key and select the one below and then select the one on the right hand side. All three of them should be selected, right click and then set to bring to front here. So now they're going to overlay the text like this. Let's left click outside to deselect everything, click on the first box and go to the drop down options here in the animation section. Go to the drop down and we want to set it to wipe but on exit. So set it to wipe. So it's going to wipe upwards. We don't want that. We want it to wipe to the left. So let's go to this option here and select from right. So it's going in this direction. We want to go to the on click and set it to after previous and set the value to 0.15. Let's do the same for this one here. Let's click here, click on the drop down and select wipe. Again, it's wiping upwards, but this time we want to wipe it to the left side. So we're going to do from left. So it's wiping in this direction. And we're going to go to on click and set with set it to after previous and set the value to 0.15 and then do the same for the last one so let's click it select the drop down go to wipe here click on the arrow here and select from left and then in the on click set it to after previous and set this to 0.15 okay now we need to sequence our animation really what we want is this rectangle this first one to play first so we're going to click here, rectangle 19 is written here. We're going to drag it so it's above the first text box, right? So it sits above text box 10, so it's right here. Let's click on this rectangle and drag it above the other text box and click this one and drag it above this text box. So the sequence now correctly. 
okay we need to change the color of these blue boxes so let's click on the first one hold down the shift key and select the other two so I'll select all three of them go to home and go to shape fill and we want to set it to the same orange background color now they're behaving like masks okay let's go ahead and test the animation so to do that we can go to the slideshow here and click play from beginning when we do that we can see the animation sequence here if you press the escape key on your keyboard that will take you back to powerpoint so there's two ways to preview you can click play from beginning and you'll see it as if you was giving a real presentation or alternatively you can go to the animation panel here click on the animation pane make sure it's active click on the first element rectangle 7 and click play from and then you can play it directly in powerpoint to see how it looks I prefer to do it this way because then I can quickly get back to PowerPoint and make tweaks and updates that I need to do. So let's go to File, Save, and let's do one last thing. Let's go to File, and we're going to do Export here, Export. Let's click Export, and we're going to select Video, Create a Video, and it's going to be 41080p resolution. We want it to be 41080p, and we're going to set the duration here to 02 two seconds and click create video and we're going to save that video file in the same location where we're creating our PowerPoint file let's click save and a little bar down here will show you how long it'll take to export so it takes a few seconds let's minimize this on my desktop I've got this folder now and inside this folder we've got our PowerPoint presentation you can see it's a very low file size only 34 kilobytes but now we've also got a nice animated text right so if we open this and we set it to something like repeat this could be some sort of message that you want to display and you can just have that looping over like this so if you're running some sort of cafe or restaurant and you want to create a powerpoint presentation you've got a video screen there you can now export it as a video and have it loop you can create many sequences right of different sort of animations it could be special offers it could be anything you could be at a, like a trade show or something like this and you just want to have this sort of message appearing and just have it looping consistently right like this so that's how you can go about creating this text animation and also there's a little bit of a bonus for you you can create a video sequence so you could upload this to youtube you could do loads of different things this could be a little intro for your youtube channel or some sort of subscribe animation something like this and we set it to quite high frames right so we set it to very fast moving frames because i think it looks better when things move very very quickly in the animation sequence so let's hit the escape key let's double click here and close this let's close this as well don't forget to go to powerpoint and go to file and save make sure you save your work let's close down powerpoint that's the end of this tutorial i hope you find it useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial